Embedded Engineers, Developers, and Makers. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from embedded computing design. I am Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design. It's Friday, June 27th, 2025, and this is our list of top stories for this week. Coming up first, the agriculture industry is undergoing a digital transformation. If you didn't know, it's been pretty big news. It's being driven right now by the convergence of automation, AI, and advanced connectivity technologies. As farming faces increasing challenges, not just from climate change, but from a lot of economic factors, particularly the growing labor shortages, Autonomous agricultural machinery is emerging as more than just an innovation, it is a necessity. Check out all the changes coming for embedded ag tech in our recent staff article. Link is down in the description. Our next story comes from the Z-Wave Alliance, which has announced that silicon providers Silicon Labs and Trident IoT have both achieved the Alliance's newly established Z-Wave Protocol Certification. This certification is designed to ensure that all products developed under the certification certification maintain the required levels of interoperability, heightened security, and continued innovation across the global Z-Wave marketplace. Find out more at the link down below in a pair of items. We're getting wild today. We're doing two items at once. In a pair of items, we are looking at Nordic Semi, which has made two recent acquisitions. In the first, a news item, we cover the news that Nordic has bought its long-term partner, Memfault, a cloud platform provider for large-scale deployments of connected products. This marks a major leap in Nordic's evolution from a hardware supplier to a complete solutions partner, which is part of their strategic goals as they've stated and according to the announcement. And on the wearables front, where Nordix has always been a big player, they have also made an acquisition recently of Newton.ai. Uh, digging into that announcement, our EVP Rich Nass spoke to Oyvind Strom, EVP of Nordix Short Range Business Unit on our Embedded Executive Podcast. They spend a wonderful discussion discussing why a developer should sit up and take notice of this acquisition and what the design community can expect from the powerful combination of these two players coming up down the road. Finally, sticking with podcast plugs, in the most recent episode of the Embedded Insiders podcast, I got into the role of AI in smart manufacturing and how it's being transformative in that world and the impact of 5G connectivity and enterprise operations with Telet Centurion's Bill Dykus and Stan Gray. These two guys were really great to talk to. We got into a lot of really meaty stuff and in the intro, I got into a bit of a heated discussion, I have to admit. A little spicy with Rich Nass, where we talked about the recent Open AI for Government initiative, a collaboration between Open AI and the US Department of Defense. Spoilers, I have concerns about this pilot program, so make sure you give that a listen. But that's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss. Coming out every Monday on LinkedIn. You can subscribe over there, and while you're at it, make sure you subscribe right here to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our shows including Embedded Toolbox, DevKit Weekly, and of course, this show right here, in case you missed it. Visit EmbeddedComputing.com for all the news in the Embedded Computing space and follow us on LinkedIn and all across the web. Please reach out if you'd like to become an advertiser or a sponsor on this program or any of our others. Make sure you never miss an episode of In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, every Friday, every week, and the LinkedIn newsletter every Monday. In the meantime, I'll see you next week and hope you have a great weekend.